Good morning everybody, middle of the week, Wednesday, and um, I hope everybody's doing fine. A wee bit brighter today, yesterday was absolutely awful the whole day. In fact, it was so bad, I just stayed in all day and I didn't take my slippers off the whole day. Yeah, so I think I'm forced to go out today for a wee while, if nothing else, than to go for a wee walk. So I hope everybody uh, managed yesterday to stay dry and um, please remember in your prayers all those people in all the areas in Scotland that were flooded, which was quite a number that I saw on the news. So um, hopefully uh, it's a bit better today for everybody. Um, just a reminder that the West Kirk Weekly will be sent out tonight. Uh, not really much to report, mostly because there's not much going on, but uh, we continue to send out anyway tonight. And uh, you can hear and see the, the daily message Monday to Friday. Uh, on Sunday, the service will be on uh, again, the website, Facebook pages, and you can phone and listen to the message any time after 11 o'clock on Sunday, and it will be there all day Sunday. So just to remind people, you don't have to phone at 11, you can phone at 12 or 1 or 10 past 2 or quarter to 7, any time on Sunday, and you can hear the service there. Uh, I know that people have enjoyed uh, been able to listen to the service. In fact, um, Cathy Morley did phone yesterday to say how much she had enjoyed listening to the service on the telephone and how much it made her feel as if she was part of the church family again. And that, I know, is an issue for people. So if you are listening... Uh, or if you're looking and you need any information about anything to do with the church or anyone in the church, please phone me and we'll update you with what's happening. Um, not much happening with the church at the minute uh, and um, you will see and hear that really there are not any churches of Scotland um, round about and meeting any plans to reopen at the minute. Uh, and uh, we will keep you informed about that. We do um, have regular meetings about uh, updating what is happening. So take care everybody and uh, still reading through Matthew and today we're on to Matthew chapter 16 and we're going to the middle of that chapter at verse 13. So Matthew chapter 16 reading from verse 13. Jesus went to the territory near the town of Caesarea Philippi, where he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? Some say John the Baptist, they answered. Others say Elijah, while others say Jeremiah or some other prophet. What about you, he asked them, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Good for you, Simon, son of John, answered Jesus, for this truth did not come to you from any human being, but it was given to you directly by my Father in heaven. And so I tell you, Peter, you are a rock, and on this rock foundation I will build my church, and not even death will ever be able to overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. What you prohibit on earth will be prohibited in heaven and what you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. Then Jesus ordered his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. From that time on, Jesus began to say plainly to his disciples, I must go to Jerusalem and suffer much from the elders, the chief priests and the teachers of the law. I will be put to death, but three days later I will be raised to life. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid it, Lord, he said. That must never happen to you. Jesus turned around and said to Peter, Get away from me, Satan. You are an obstacle in my way because these thoughts of yours don't come from God, but from human nature. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If any of you want to come with me, you must forget yourself, carry your cross and follow me. For if you want to save your own life, you will lose it. But if you lose your life for my sake, you will find it. Will you gain anything if you win the whole world but lose your life? Of course not. 
there is nothing you can give to regain your life. For the Son of Man is about to come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will reward each one according to his deeds. I assure you that there are some here who will not die until they have seen the Son of Man come as King. Amen. And God bless the reading from Matthew chapter 16. So, just to keep you updated, I'm going to see Sheila either tomorrow or Friday. We're um, working out which day is the best um, for that. So, um, going for a coffee and I'm hoping that Sheila's got some cake. Yeah, I'll be very disappointed if you haven't, Sheila. Uh, and um, hopefully uh, we're going to meet young Bill either tomorrow or Friday as well. Um, we were going to go and uh, see Bill and Hazel today, but that's just not going to be possible. Uh, unfortunately, Hazel has gone back to work uh, after being on furlough since March. So she has gone back to work yesterday and um, she's back to work tomorrow. So uh, I hope you can also remember in your prayers, there must be a lot of people now going back to work after being on furlough. And also, uh, please remember at, the, at this week in your prayers, all the children, young people and teachers, and also all the other people who work in schools uh, who are um, preparing themselves for going back to work at the start of next week. So we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, take care everybody, look after yourselves and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.